Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to No One Survived. There has been an update, and it's a very focused update. It has a whole bunch of new traps. So things are about to get a lot more interesting for our zombie friends. So why don't we just take a quick look at the things that we now have available to us. One of them is unlocked already. And quite frankly, considering my configuration over here, it's probably the most useful. By the way, what temperature is it? Minus 25. Okay, well, that's better. I was actually working on fixing the base up and I noticed it was midnight and it was a lot of snow, and I looked at it, and it was minus 47 degrees. Last winter, I would have been freezing, but then again, I have those great shoes now. It's all about the shoes. All right, so let's open this up, and let's take a look at our new toy, the first of our new toys, because now we have an iron rejection horse. Yes, there's a bit of a translation thing, but I do seem to remember this used to be called a horse now, and of course, it's wooden spikes. So if I was to place this, and I do believe this is four iron ingots, yeah, that looks useful. Oh yeah, that looks useful. Apparently it will make them bleed and they can kind of get stuck on that. I can definitely see putting a bunch of those around my base over there. Here's the question, do I add an extra row or do I just, you know, take one of them away? Because I have three rows over there, except for the corners, which are two. That's a really good question. I mean, here's the thing. Either way, I have to put 20 of these down. Because there's four on each of the sides, and then there's, you know, one corner. So that comes up to 20, which means I'm going to need 80. I think I probably do have enough. Let me get rid of this guy. Uh, by the way, we are going to be testing these. At least this one for sure, right? Very easy to test. We're just going to put it on the edge of the town... And, uh, I don't know, maybe fire off a shotgun or something. That way we can get a whole bunch of friends coming our way. Now, let me put this here. Um, how many do I have? Yeah, I have a bunch on me. So I have 20 on me. Yeah, you know, I might have to go to the cave to see whether or not I can get some more iron. All right, I have iron there. I think I have some iron upstairs as well. What I should probably start doing is go crazy with production, which I kind of did, but put it all into a um, a box so I know exactly what I got. Yeah, I got 15 over there. I think I'm going to be a bit short, so I might want to go into the cave underneath the car repair merchant. By the way, I have actually been there. I went there yesterday. Hold on a minute. As you can see, I actually had the full meal. Um... It's, it's going down, so you can tell when the last time I was there. I went under the cave because I wanted to get some... Uh, hold on a minute. I wanted to get some more saltpeter because... And I have actually used it all because I wanted gunpowder because some of our new toys actually require gunpowder. Uh, by the way, I just wanted to see... Yeah, that's... Uh, why don't we just do this? And do I have enough for another one? Yes, I do, actually. There we go. All right, so I was doing some production over here. Uh, I may actually have to go for more oil in the future. Shocker. Well, you know, I can just carry one of those batteries with me. Not a problem. Okay, uh, there are uh, other things that we can unlock. So why don't we just check them out? Oh, hold on a minute. There's actually... They're broken up into different areas. Now, we have, like, the primitive ones over here. Um, I'm guessing we're just going to call that, like, nails or something, wooden nails. It looks like they jump out of the ground. And this is a log trap. Now, both of those require one log to unlock. I shouldn't say log. I should say board. And uh, that's easy enough to do. You know, I might want to produce some more of these boards. I actually have a bunch of logs. Uh, I went over there with a full um, complement. Where is it here? No, not this one. Ah, this one, right here. Yeah, but it turns out I didn't really need any. Well, I should say I was able to do it with the ones I was carrying in my inventory. So, I mean, I do have lots of logs, so I can get a lot of boards going here. Speaking of boards, let's see what we have here. All right, so let's do this, and then let's do this one. All right, let's see what they look like here. 
All right, I guess they're going to be in outdoors. First of all, what do we need? Okay, 10 boards, plant fibers, 10 wooden spears. One simple part. I mean, it's not incredibly expensive. It's just a little bit on the tedious side if you're going to make uh, 10 spears because you have to find 10 sticks for that, right? Okay, hello? Oh, it's there. I just can't see it. Is it? We can't see it because of the snow. Hold it a second. I'm digging the snow, by the way. Yeah, that's the problem. Okay, so we can't see it over here because of the snow, but we can kind of see it there. Yeah, I don't know about that one anyway. All right, why don't we try another one? Maybe something a little more visible. How about the log trap? Okay, that's interesting. Looks like it has metal in it. Hold on a second. What did that cost? Two logs, four boards, plant, fi plant fibers. And then one simple part. I mean, it looks like it has spikes, doesn't it? Hold on a minute. I mean, are those plant fibers? Okay, I'm not going to complain if you can make something like this. I think we can test that. I mean, here, we can test the, the metal fence, and we can test this, assuming we can get somebody to run right at it. Here's the question. Are the zombies going to see this as an obstacle to run around, or are they going to run through it? If they see it as an obstacle instead of an open path, then it doesn't really make a lot of sense because they're probably going to go around it anyway. Okay, what do we need? Logs, boards, plant fibers. Okay, so why don't we see about maybe getting what we need to make everything. I already have uh, these guys over here. Uh, we can test those guys out immediately. Uh, we'll get to other things later. I don't think the other one is actually feasible at the moment. And honestly, I don't know how I would use it. I don't actually know how I would use this one. It seems as if a lot of these traps are kind of like this location, if you know what I mean. So maybe you'd have to make a long corridor, maybe like out of stone or maybe brick if you want to be stylish and have them run down there. And there's a whole bunch of these traps here. Uh, let's, just, let's just deal with what we have here first. All right, so I need two logs for this, right? It was two logs, and I needed boards. I think it was ten, wasn't it? Hold it a minute. Put that away. Yeah. Well, you know what? Hold on to that. Um, put that in there. Put that in there. So that was ten, right? Okay, and now I can't move. Well, I do have a lot of iron on me. Uh, maybe I want to put that down for a moment. How many of those do I want to make? I figure three is a good number. So we can put this back. Put that over there. That's going to be 10. I need two then. Put two. And. Okay, I can move. Here's the question. What else did I need for this? The bo oh, I need extra board. No, no, I, I didn't need 10 boards for this. Oh, I think 10 boards was for the other one, wasn't it? Hold on a minute. Oh, you know, it doesn't even matter. I think 10 boards was for the other one, so I'm taking too many boards with me. All right, so why don't we just put them back? And then that should be fine. I have a little extra here, but I do need the uh, plant fibers. And I need a simple part. I only need one simple part, I think, right? I'll just take that. Why not? And plant fibers, I think I did. Oh, did I turn them all into... Nope, I didn't turn them all in. I was making feed in preparation for, like, maybe doing the animals in the future. Um, but I did need... That should do the job. That's sturdy. It was sturdy, right? Oh, we can put that one back. Uh, actually, just leave it for now. All right, let me just verify that I have everything I need. I could just make it, and that'll tell me if I have everything, right? So if I just do at all... Yeah, I don't know if that's going to hit me in the face, so I'd rather not try it. Okay, fortunately, you can just take these guys apart. So that sounds fun. Can I see any of them? I figure that's close enough, right? Uh, I had it in my hand already. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, nope, that is not the one that I wanted. Nope, 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 nope. Um, we're going to put this guy down first. Is that... The I mean, it looks like it goes that way. Right, and we're just going to fill that in. I mean, do I have to do anything with this thing? 
Okay, I don't want to test it. I want somebody else to test it for me, if you know what I mean. All right, so let's try this again. And let's put, say, like this. And they can kind of overlap each other there, can't they? All right, and this. All right, so boom, boom, boom. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Now, how am I going to get them over here? You know, I just can't imagine how I'm going to do that. Okay, hello. Maybe if I drove the vehicle over here. Okay, you should hear this. Okay, you're coming. All right. One for now is fine. Okay, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Come on. That killed him! Oh, do I have to reset it? Okay, can I, can I reset that? Come on, this way. Walk this way. Man, that is a one-hit kill. Okay, yeah, but just for them, not for me. The thing about it is, I don't know if it does anything at this point. Does it do anything at this point? All right, you know what we're going to do? We're going to see if, if it's sitting like that, does it do anything? All right, can I just get somebody... I'd like to get a bunch of you guys here, you know what I mean? Okay, I have a runner. Oh, don't do that. Just keep the shotgun out in case things get interesting. Okay, it stops him. He's probably destroying it. Um, I'm looking to see if it's damaging. Doesn't seem to be. Now, can I do this without damaging my toy? Yes, I can. All right. Did that do anything? All right, I think I have to take this up. This thing has already kind of passed his test, so let's just take this guy back. All right, uh, could somebody come over here? Shotgun. There we go. That's what I want to see. Cooperation. Let's see. I mean, think about it is we still have jumping possibilities here, right? Okay. So, tell me something. How do you feel about that? Do you feel that's quality? Okay. Okay, two are dead. But then again, I did shoot a couple of them to get... No, actually, these guys, I think, came... Wow, they're all dead. I could have shot one or two. Um, because I was trying to pull them before. All right, let's just take a quick look at the situation. I mean, there were three of them being on that one. And it basically killed them. All right. I'd like to get a bunch of you guys, if you don't mind. Maybe I should have drove over here, right? Okay, so... Did I get... Oh! I think I got their attention!
Okay, she went around. Cheater. Okay, they jumped. Okay, he went around. Thank you for fulfilling the experiment. I appreciate it. Um, I'm not waiting for you. Nope. I'm not waiting for you at all. So if I put a ring around of these around my horde base, I think that would be... Okay, you know, I didn't even grab a nose. Okay, you just forget about me? I feel very bad now. I am forgotten. Now, I did hit both of them, but... They're also moving very slowly. Well, you know what? Let's be fair, and let's give them a shot. Let's see how they do. So these guys are the ones you get that are new, that are unlocked. Now, there are some other things. I don't know how much we're going to be able to test them, but we will unlock them. Certainly, these will be very useful for my configuration. Like, he's already dead. Well, he's not dead. He's down there. Yeah, it does seem to be doing significant damage, and they seem to actually... Oh, how did you do that? He went underneath. Look for a moment like you forgot all about me. That's interesting. Maybe the snow had something to do with that. But he did go underneath. Now, in my configuration, that would mean that he would be coming up into spikes. All right, I guess the other guy decided, nope, I don't want... What is going on up there? Oh, he's in a ditch. I was wondering, he looked like he was crawling. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my stuff back. All right, this is damaged. Okay, yeah, I mean, they are damaged. And they obviously are more expensive. So we'll just kind of take these guys out. All right, so let's take a look at the other ones here. Things get a little bit more complex after that, and that's not a bad thing. So, hold on a second. Where were we with those? Oh, here they are. All right, this one here, you can't see it in the snow. Maybe you could actually put that on a platform? Hold on a minute. Let's just see about that. Uh, oh, you could actually put that on a platform. See, something like that, I'm guessing what happens is that they go by and the spears come out of the ground. Which is a great trap, by the way. It is wood, so it wouldn't be, like, really strong. But once again, that seems like something good for a corridor. My problem with the wood trap is that when it activates, it just kind of sits there. Now, he wasn't attacking it, but, I mean, do they see that as a, um, like, a blockage? Because otherwise, they wouldn't see that as a viable path and they'd go around it or something like that. See, when it was up, I was wondering, are they going to see that as an opening to walk in? Yes. Is it effective? Oh, yeah. The problem with it is that once it's down, yeah, what's it doing at that point? So I don't know if that would be something you'd want to put in a corridor. Now, if the spikes are coming up, and I'm guessing that's what would be going on, that could be effective. Yeah, the problem is that I can't really do that in the snow. Otherwise, I would have put some spikes out there. And, um, you know, that's something we could try in the future. All right, but let's just take a look now at what else we have available to us. Because this was, these were one. Now, over here, yeah, they, they, come, they come off of these. All right, so it's basically you have to unlock the grenade for this. This one here, okay, this says it's a Molotov cocktail, but I think it's some kind of a fire thing. And this is a mine. Okay, that gets unlocked by a Molotov, that gets unlocked by a, uh, a grenade. Thing is, I don't think I have a Molotov at the moment. Uh, let's see, did I have... I might have used all of them. Ugh. Which means I just, I don't have any... Um... Okay, here's what I'm going to have to do. I have grenades. Grenades aren't the problem. Yeah, I just completed doing this. All right, so you know what? Make me... Oh, no, don't do that. Uh, make me some of these. Unfortunately, this just takes a very long time. Uh, make me three of those. Yeah, like I said, those just take me a long time. 
And I actually did get some more uh, saltpeter, so I was able to make some more grenades. I'm just going to grab that with me. I do have grenades. I believe I have four waiting for me. So let's see here. All right, yeah, I have four here. Here, just take that over there and have some extra metal, too. Uh, I have the plastic up there, so I think I can make another one. Yeah, I can make one more. All right, we'll just do that. All right, I'm going to take two of the grenades. Because chances are, if I need a grenade to unlock it, I probably need a grenade to make it, too, right? All right, so let's do some unlock. Oh, I need a Molotov. I can't do that. I can't make the mine. Uh, I have to wait till I have the Molotov. Oh, well. Okay, so let me wait until I can actually do that, and then we'll be back. And in the meantime, I'll take my sunglasses off. All right, so I made one Molotov. I have another one cooking, and I have another bottle of fuel coming out, too. So what that does is lets me unlock things. So that's what we're going to do. All right, we'll probably mess with the other one first, but first let's do this one. All right, and then, of course, I do have a grenade on me, so let's unlock a mine. All right, so let's see about these. And once again, we might have snow issues here. And I think if it's not that expensive, maybe we can walk it over and have our friends test it for us again, right? All right, so this guy comes out. This guy opens up. All right, let's see. Now, this one, one Molotov and plant fibers. Okay. I'm guessing maybe it does some kind of fire thing. Well, that one is obviously we can make that. I have a second Molotov cooking. It'll probably be ready now, so that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, an iron ingot and a grenade. Okay, I do have spares. I think I have two more over here. I can certainly make more. Right, I have an extra one here. Not a problem. All right, I'm just going to carry it just for the fun of it. And we do have that Molotov. All right, so let me get the plant fibers again. I mean, look, I'm far enough away that all of that respawned. It's just that I don't want to pull all of them this time. I think that would probably be a very bad idea. All right, so let's just grab this. This is going to be a one-shot deal, though, because, um, yeah, I only have one Molotov. Okay, so let's see about this. If we could just get one volunteer... To, what is... Okay, I was a lot... Smaller than I thought it was going to be. Okay, can I just clear a spot or something? Or do I have to actually put that... All right, hold on a minute. Let me just check for a second. It doesn't say that it has to be on a platform. So what is the problem? Maybe it just does... Ha oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, it, it was having a problem being on the street. Why is that an issue? Okay, well, you know what? Let's just... Okay, yeah, right there. We'll just... We'll put it there. And then we'll fill it up. Uh, actually, do I have everything there? Right, right. It's all there. Okay, now, obviously, I don't want to step on it. Um, thing is, I don't want to risk that and the grenade at the same time because I should say the mine because I don't want to lose track of either one of them. You know what I mean? Okay, um, I really wish I could see a little better. If we could just get you to come here. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't mean to shoot you in the head. Okay, where is it again? Here it is. Okay, is somebody coming? Okay, oh, that's a terrible angle. Oh, that's actually gonna go... And the second one ran right through it. That was very effective. That was very effective. I mean, that created a whole line right there, didn't it? That might be worth working on. Of course, the Molotov requires glass. That's the expensive part. Because you have to have the fuel, then you have to have fabric, which really isn't that big of a deal. Especially if you get the tailoring bench, you can probably make it from fibers, right? And But the glass is the expensive part. 
All right, we have a volunteer who wants to um, test out the landmine. And do we have the same problem now? It's not letting me place the landmine. Ah, what? Okay, wait a minute. See, it's red. It's red. But the problem is I can't see it here. Hold on a minute. You just, you just keep coming. That'd be great. I can't see it. Okay, well, you know what? We're just gonna have to deal with this quietly. Okay, it's too bad that that was a perfect opportunity. Uh, okay, we still have a couple of slow pokes coming. It doesn't say that it has to be on a platform. See, look, it's just not, it doesn't want to be anywhere. So we do have some really effective tools to work with now. I'm going to have to go get a lot of iron, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, I'm still trying to place this. Is this go oh, you got to put it on a platform. It doesn't say you have to do that, though. Wait a minute. See, generally speaking, look, write that one. It says load bearing ground, ground, ground. Okay, that one, that one doesn't have to go... That one can go anywhere. That one was very particular. It didn't want to be on the street. It actually had to be on, like, dirt. So I'm not really sure how you would work with this. But, I mean, that one just didn't want to go down at all. Obviously, it does have to go on a foundation. I mean, we could put something and lower it all the way into the ground. The problem is I think the snow is the issue here. It's just you got to wait for the snow to go away in order to, uh, to really get this going. All right. I don't think there was any more. Let's just see here. All right, so we opened up. Oh, we do have more. Okay, Iron Thorn. All right, I can open that up right now. Oh, I guess this is the advanced stuff here, right? Um, the electric gill net. Okay, well, you know what? I do happen to have another iron ingot on me. The rotary blade. All right, now we're talking about electricity here. So, I mean, we have to have some kind of a, um, I could put it up there. You know, I could put it inside of the hut. But again, I think this would be better for a, uh, a situation where you had uh, a corridor. You know, if they're going through it and spinning and such. Like, what was this one? Flamethrower. And electrification again. Once again, that would be, I don't know. Maybe we should start considering a corridor situation. You know, make something so we can utilize these traps. Do they all require electricity? All right. First of all, is that it? I think that's all of them. But then again, that's a lot right there. All right. Hold on a minute. Let's just... Uh, do I have it out? No, I don't. All right. This would all be outdoors. Okay. That's the wood one. Motor. Ooh. Iron ingots. Iron spears. Wow. That is actually getting expensive. I'm guessing it would be tough, though. I mean, can you imagine if zombies broke that and you had a motor in there and you had five iron spears? I mean, that would... The motor is the big one. The rest of it you could kind of work with, but that would be uh, kind of annoying right there. Electric... I'm guessing that's like a grill something. Gill net. That way they're getting roasted. Once again, you need a motor. I do have a couple extra motors lying around. Um, but again, this would... I don't, does this one require electricity? I don't know. It does have electric wires, so I'm guessing yes. We'd have to have a power source in order to get that going. Maybe I should turn my house over here into that. I mean, we could use stone, right? We could use stone corridors or something like that. Maybe that's something I need to work on. What was the last one? Oh, the rotary blades. Another motor. I mean, we do know how to get motors. Motors aren't hard to find. They're just heavy. And, of course, the flamethrower does not require a motor. I'm wondering if it requires fuel, though. So we got electric wire. We got iron ingots. I would be very curious about that. See, this one here doesn't seem to have electrical parts. Why don't we make this one? Oh, no, it does have electrical wire. I would still be interested to know whether or not it requires uh, fuel. I'm just curious, though, because it does look like it has tanks. Use. Yeah, you're going to have to put fuel in here. 
and switch. Oh, all right. I am really curious about this. I mean, does it activate or do I hit a switch and then it turns on? Okay, first things first. Hook it up to the electrical grid. And fuel. Um, okay, I, I can get fuel. I can just take it out when I'm done. Oh, you know what? I got fuel. I got fuel because I made another canister up here. And I don't want to dump a full one in. You know what I mean? Uh, right there. But I need a switch. First of all, which way is it facing? It's facing that way. All right, so let's do this. And let's put the fuel in. All right, so I don't, I shouldn't need that much. So I just do need a switch though, but I need 10 electrical wires for a switch. So let's just do this. What else did I need? I think that was all I needed for a switch, except I think one piece of plastic all right, grab that. I think it was plastic that I needed. Uh, grab that for the moment. Let me just see. I'll put the switch outside, like right here for now, right? All right, so grab this. And I think it's a furniture thing. Oh, I need one electronic component. All right, well, I'll get... Okay, rotate. Right there, boom. All right. Let me get the um, the one electronic component. And then we're going to see if this guy's going to light up. Uh, do I have any ones? I'll just take that one. There we go. And then we're going to have to assign this as two. Because I don't want the light switch on the inside to be set up that way, right? All right, add all. Okay, you switch. Flame on. All right, and boom. There we go. Okay, and you are attached to switch flame on. Okay, so let's see what happens when I do this. That's pretty cool. Once again, I think the corridor situation would be how you'd want to handle that. Do we have some kind of a great... We don't have a grading or something. Because what I'd like to do is maybe have a bunch of them set up, right? And then maybe have them coming through a grate so that we can actually grow them, if you know what I mean. Because otherwise, I don't know if they would attack it or hit it or something like that. I mean, they don't have a reason to do that. I mean, could I put a wall right behind it? Oh, hold on a minute. All right. Just thinking out loud here for a moment. If I had, say, a stone wall... Oh, I'd have to have a, obviously, I'd have to have a support beam for that, right? Um, yeah, so that's not going to work out the way I wanted it to. But, I mean, if you built something and they went through it, I just, is there going to be a space over here? I guess you could place it anywhere you want, couldn't you? Because even if it grids, you can place things to where you want. This one could be, as I said, there's a lot of things here that would work good in a corridor system. You know, if we look back at these, again, taking this thing in my hand, and actually not what I was looking for. I was looking for this. This one here, obviously you'd hit the switch, and it would drain. But, you know, here's the thing. These battles don't go on for very long. It's not really that big of a deal, because you turn it on, they're all dead, you turn it off. This thing over here, are they going to attack that? Are they going to do damage to it? You know, if this thing is spinning in a little corridor, are they going to go through it? I'm guessing it's going to be the same kind of thing. You could probably attach everything to one switch. You know, if you look at a situation like that, right? Uh, and if I gave them a way to get to me, you know, if they had to go around and get to me, inside my little hut there, I could have the electricity and I could have a switch. Turn on the switch and they get burned, and they get sliced, and such like that. Depending on how much damage this does, I don't know if it would be efficient. If you had, like, the rotary blades, and all they required was the, um, you know, the electricity, those might do more damage. But they might get damaged themselves, whereas would this get damaged? 
I mean, if they're just running by and they don't see it as a problem, except, of course, that it's setting them on fire, well, you know, I mean, that could work out. And once they're on fire, they're on fire, so you probably wouldn't have a lot of these. I mean, there wouldn't be anything gained from having a line of them. You might have one here and then make one over here, and then when they make a turn and go around, have another one, because um, and you don't have to wire them too, which would be very good. But this opens up a lot of possibilities in regards to base design. So, I mean, this is a good thing. There's a lot of tools available to us. Now, obviously, for my situation, the metal spikes, I'm going to be working on those. I'm going to try to get as many of them up as I can, but I am going to have to go hunting because I have like two and a half days, and it's not just a matter of getting the iron, right? It's a matter of also uh, melting it down and then turning it into ingots. So that's something I'm going to have to work on immediately. Anyway, I really like what they're doing here. I, I like the additions. I like the fact that we got traps so that we can actually start getting a little bit creative. If I had to start again, maybe I'd make a corridor system now and see whether or not they would actually go through it. You know, that's actually interesting. I wonder if you built something near the town that had like a maze. Would they follow the maze? That's interesting. I'm going to have to think about that. Anyway, I think that that is going to be it for now. So uh, we got an update. The update has a lot of cool new traps. I am going to be making use immediately of the iron spikes. I'm hoping I can get enough to wrap it all the way around. But uh, something like this is actually pretty darn cool. And as I said, you know, they're all electric. You plug them in, you turn them all on at one time, and then, you know, you turn them off as soon as the base is done. Did this consume all the electricity? Yeah, actually, it consumed all the fuel, didn't it? That's something that may end up becoming an issue. But you know what? I mean, it's not hard to come by. It's just kind of expensive and slow to make. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. So if you like the video, please give it a like. Maybe say something in the comments for the Great God algorithm. And of course, subscribing is a great way to show your support. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See ya.